Welcome to Excel Business Math Series number 40. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and you can download the workbook. 135, Chapter 5. If you're in the class, just go to our Chapter 5 website. Hey, we have to talk about equivalent earnings. Here's the deal. We could get monthly paychecks, 12 times a year, semi-monthly, 24 times a year, bi-weekly, 26, or weekly paychecks, 52 times a year. But what if you want to compare different jobs? Or you want to compare uh, your friend's salary yearly to yours. But he gets paid semi-monthly and you get paid weekly. Well, here's how you do it. And it gets a little tricky. Um, and this is an important note right here. You want to be sure to do the monthly calculation correct. You can't just take uh, a weekly salary and multiply it by four to get monthly because not all months have exactly four weeks. That's the only tricky part. Here, I have this little table here, so we'll use that as a reference. Let's start with a job one. There's a weekly salary of 700. Well, how would we get from weekly to yearly? We'd say equals that 700 times how many weeks there are in a year. So I'm going to get that 52. Tab. Whoops, that. Um, is a fence that just went up. That fence means uh, we don't have enough column width right here. So I'm going to double click right between the column headers to give myself a little bit of breathing room there. All right, so monthly. How do we get monthly? Oh, well, of course, if we have 700 per week, we just multiply it by four, right? Not a chance because not every month has exactly four weeks. So the way we do it is we calculate our yearly first, then we say equals the year amount divided how many months there are in a year. Tab. Now weekly, um, this is the hard one for this line. If you get a weekly salary of 700, what's the weekly? Oh, uh, just 700. All right, now bi-weekly, so we get 550 every two weeks. If we want to go to year, we have to figure out how many bi-weekly periods there are in a year. Equals the 550 times and our bi-weekly, oh yeah, 26, which is half of 52. Because bi, what does bi mean? Two bicycle, bi-weekly, two weeks. So it's 26. Now how do we go from monthly here? We have a bi-weekly. So of course we can just multiply it by two, right? Not a chance. We have to do our same calculation. Equals calculate the yearly amount first. And now we're going to go from a year to a month, so we simply say divide by 12, tab. Now we're on weekly here. And there's actually two ways to do this. If you download this, you, you point to the cell, and there's a little, like this one, you can see there's a little common. If you point to the cell, it pops up. There's two ways. But I'm going to do it the safe way. I'm going to take my yearly, which I've already calculated, and then divide it by the number of weeks, 52 equals this divided by 52. Now, that'll give us the wrong answer. I did the wrong cell. Click in the cell equals the yearly amount divided by 52. So 275 per week. Now, uh, the other way you could do it, remember by means two. By means two, so if, if we're trying to calculate weekly, we already have it in uh, chunks of two. There's two, two. There's two weeks here, so we could just do, go equals whatever the weekly amount is divided by two, and that would give us the right answer too. I'm going to Control Z and keep that formula right there. That's the safe way to do it. All right, uh, you can do it either way, and there's this little comment there that will uh, show you both formulas. All right, semi-monthly. Oh, we have the semi-monthly, and we want to go to yearly equals the semi-monthly times, we simply need to see how many semi months there are in a year. Now what does semi mean? Bi means two, semi means half, half. So half a month. That's why there's 24, right? 12 total months, well, if this is a half month, you multiply that 12 by two and get 24. So that'll be our calculation. Total uh, pay for semi-monthly periods times the 24. Now to go to monthly, there's two formulas here too. I'm going to do it the safe way. I'm going to say equals, oh yeah, 
whatever the yearly amount is, divided by our 12. You totally, for the same logic as biweekly, you could say, well, this is half a month, right? So you could just take half a month, since this is a half, two of these halves make a whole, so you can multiply it by two. But I'm going to use that formula right there. There's the little pop-up if you uh, download this. Boop, there it is. Yearly divided by 12, or semi-monthly divided by two. All right, uh, now we got to go weekly. And this is where you get into trouble, right? Because there's not the same number of weeks in every half month. So we have to go from our year and divide it by the number of weeks, 52. And we hit Enter. Now, we are given a monthly amount, and we need to go to year. So we say equals that monthly period times our 12, because there's 12 periods in a year. Tab. Monthly, this is the hard one for this line, equals, oh yeah, that one right there, monthly, monthly. And finally, we go weeks. Um, so I'm definitely taking the yearly amount. And how many weeks are there in a year? 52. So I divide by 52. All right, um, that's equivalent earnings. So when we come back in our next video, we'll start doing deductions, FICA taxes, and things like that for payroll. See you next video.